What's up guys, Joe from my Tech Gem here, and in this video I'm going to show you an updated method on how to jailbreak the Amazon Fire TV stick and watch free movies and TV shows. Okay guys, so the first thing you need to do is scroll over to settings on your Fire TV, then over to device. Then under developer options, turn ADB debugging on and turn apps from unknown sources on. You'll get this pop-up, just click turn on. After you finish that, exit back out to the settings menu and scroll over to applications. Click on it to open it up and turn collect app usage data off. You'll get this pop-up, just click turn off. The next thing we're going to do is install ES File Explorer. So exit back out to the home screen of your Fire TV. Then scroll over to the left into the search section and type in ES File Explorer. Once you have that typed in, scroll down and hover over the words ES File Explorer and click on them. Then click on the ES File Explorer app and then choose Download. It may also say Get if you've never installed the app before. Once it finishes installing, choose Open. The first time you open ES File Explorer, you'll get this pop-up. Just click the back button on your remote to close it out. Then we want to click on New on the bottom of the screen. The easiest way to get over there is to come over to the left side, then scroll down and come over to the right. Once you click on New, leave the type as HTTP Web, and in the path, type in HTTPS colon slash slash Kodi TV slash download. Now keep in mind there's two ways to do this install, and I'm going to show you both ways just in case you have trouble with one, you can use the other one. Once you have that typed in, scroll down and click Next, then click OK. And then this will bring you to the main Kodi downloads page. You need to scroll all the way down to the bottom of it to where it says older releases. And then when you find that section, you need to click on the word here. Then on the next screen, choose Android, ARM, and then click on the Kodi 17.1 APK. When you click it, it may start to download, but if it doesn't, you need to click on the three dots and the word more on the bottom right of your screen. Once again, the easiest way to get there is to come over to the left side and then down and to the right. Once you click on more, choose open in browser and then choose ES downloader and just once. Then your file should start to download. For anyone having trouble with that way, the other way you can install Kodi is to come down and click on New. Leave the type as HTTP Web, and in the path, type in HTTPS colon slash slash Kodi TV slash download slash 852. Once you have that typed in, scroll down and click on Next, then click OK. And this will bring you straight to the Kodi for Android page. Then you just scroll down and click on the ARM v7a 32-bit link. Then on the next page, choose click here, and then scroll down to the bottom right, click on more. Choose open in browser, and then choose ES downloader and just once. Regardless of which method you use to download Kodi, when it finishes downloading, choose open file and then choose install and install again. Kodi is now being installed onto your Amazon Fire TV stick. Once it finishes installing, choose open and then Kodi will go through its first run process. It may take a minute or two, so be patient. Once Kodi opens, click on the gear icon on the top of your screen to enter settings. Then choose File Manager. Then click on Add Source. Click on where it says None and type in http colon slash slash fusion .tv -addons .ag. Once you have that typed in, click OK and then click in the enter a name for this media source section and type in Fusion. Once you have that typed in, click OK, click OK again, 
and then exit back to the Kodi main menu. Once you get back to the main menu, scroll down and click on the word Add-ons. Then click on the gear on the top of your screen. And on the right side, turn on Unknown Sources. You'll get this pop-up, just click Yes. Then exit back to the Add-ons menu and click the box icon on the top of your screen. Choose Install from Zip File. Then click on Fusion, Kodi Repos, English, and then scroll down and find the Exodus repository. When you find the Exodus file, click on it and the Exodus repository will be installed. Once the Exodus repository is installed, click on Install from Repository. Then choose Exodus Repository. Video add-ons, Exodus, and then install. Once Exodus is installed, you're actually good to go. So if you exit back to the main menu of Kodi, there will be two ways you can open up Exodus. You can either scroll down to add-ons and click on it on the right, or you can scroll down to videos, video add-ons, and then open it from right here. Once you click on it to open it up, you can start browsing movies and TV shows. I highly recommend the Exodus add-on. I haven't come across many movies or TV shows that it doesn't have. Also, if you want to change the view, you can move your cursor to the left, and then you can change it from right here. My personal favorite view type is poster. When you get back to the Fire TV main menu, to open Kodi again, scroll down to Your Apps and Games, then go all the way over to the right and click See All. Then scroll down to the bottom and hover over Kodi. Click the Menu button on your remote, the three horizontal lines, and click Move to Front. This will keep Kodi at the front of the list on your apps and games, and also once you open it from here, it will appear on the Recents menu as well. As always, if you guys like this video, hit the like button or let me know down in the comments below. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, and I'll try to help you out as much as I can. And remember to subscribe to my channel for more content.